Hi everyone and welcome to Eye to Eye. You know, the penguins of Antarctica have adapted to survive the harsh conditions there, but can they adapt quickly enough to survive climate change? John Blackstone met up with a researcher studying the effects of global warming at the bottom of the world. So for the penguins, there's, there's possible pluses, possible minuses in, in, in this climate change. There's good news and there's bad news. Uh, with the breakup of the sea ice, that makes the many more places accessible for the penguins to build their nests. But it also reduces the number of places because the ice becomes uh, so small that they can't live on it there anymore. Unfortunately, the Adelie penguins and the emperor penguins are what we call ice obligates. They must have ice to live. So like many songbirds require trees, if you cut down the trees, the songbirds won't be there anymore. If the ice goes away, the penguins will no longer be able to survive. So as we see the ice decrease, the penguins will uh, struggle to exist. Why is it important to learn about the penguins, particularly now? There are many changes that are happening in our world uh, due to the changes in our atmosphere. There's some warming, but there's also some cooling, and there's a lot of things happening in the ocean. And the penguins are having to cope with this, and the penguins aren't the only species. So when we see species like penguins having to make these changes, it's an indication that we may have to make these changes as the world changes. And these penguins are really, I mean, they're, they're surviving on the edge, aren't they? They're already uh, living in the extreme conditions, so they have adapted to live in this hostile environment. And when they did, they got this place to themselves because they don't have any other animals that compete with them, or very few. So that was a good thing for them. But now their environment is changing, so they're having to cope, and we're seeing just how hardy they are. So this is like July in the United States, and here we are in the middle of a snowstorm. So things are a little bit different now. So, so snow at this time of year is, is unusual here? It's not so unusual, but the amount is more. And we had more out at the uh, penguin colony. The, uh, there was a time one of the snowstorms buried the, uh, the chicks and we uh, dug them out and helped the parents get to their chicks and the snowdrifts were larger than we have seen in a very long time. That doesn't seem to indicate warming to me. If there's more snow and more ice and that, that doesn't that doesn't indicate global warming anyway. It's not so much about global warming, but about climate change. Sometimes uh, warming is the trend, but when there's more warmth, that means there's more evaporation and that mean, brings more storms. Uh, one of our colonies at Cape Bird is at the base of a very large glacier. And these glaciers are, you know, thousands of years old, and there's always a little bit of melting during the summer, but this summer there was a particularly large amount of melting, more water than we'd seen come off of them. And since the penguins are at the base of this glacier, the water came down and, and washed away some of the nests. It was very sad. What's the importance of, of Antarctica in, in the world? I guess, you know, is it? Uh, for climate, yeah. uh, we have a lot of ice here. And uh, the reflection of the sun from the ice helps to keep the earth cool. So if this were land and all of this were water, then the heating of the earth would happen much faster. And of course, the animals live here, so this is a place on earth which is untouched, and we want to keep it that way, pristine and without any contamination.